Good evening, it's story time now. And it's uh, original story. And this is part one. Because I think there are going to be more parts. This is the story how I became a metalhead. Which sounds strange to you, but hey, for some people there is a story that happened. And yeah, how it became and how it came to be and the road to becoming one because you are not becoming one basically but you're born that way so but you have to have a sign or a snip like that awakes it in you mine started a long time ago when i was four it was i was sleeping and i had a dream in that dream i heard a voice and that voice said, when the world is in carnage, you will find your road to your destiny. And I saw a picture of the road and the world being destroyed, people getting killed by cars, and it was a apocalyptic sight. I woke up and I screamed and I was crying and it was like, oh shoot. The world's ending and I ran through the window, all crying, and I looked out and nothing was happening. So I, being a four-year-old little kid, was confused out of my mind. I was like, what's going on? What's, what, what, what happened? What, what's going on? I don't know. It happened. Nothing happened for a couple of years. For nearly seven years and... There was a game called Carmageddon, to precisely Carmageddon 2. When I played that, the soundtrack to that game was awesome, it was Iron Maiden, but I didn't know what it was when I first listened to it. I was like, oh, I love this kind of music. And as I was playing through the game, the vision of that dream when I was four came to pass. It was the world all destroyed and being overrun by cars, killing people. And I was like, oh, wow, wait. So that wasn't the real life. That was the game that was shown to me. And maybe it's because of the music. I still didn't have a clue at all. That night after I played that game and listened to that music, I took out the CD, the CD-ROM actually, and then put it in my CD player to see if I could listen to the music that I heard in the game. And yes, I could, and I was so awesome. So I recorded it to a tape, as mm, I didn't have a CD player myself, so I took it to a tape and then put it on my Walkman and listened to it. After I listened to it, I fell asleep, and that same voice came back to me again. And it said, Ah, so you found what I was warning you for. Or what I was telling you. And I answered back, Yes, but you scared the living daylights out of me. And I had bad dreams and bad thoughts for a long time. The voice said that it was sorry and it should have explained more. But I was like, no problem, but what is this? What is this music I hear? The music's called metal, he said, and it is your destiny to listen to it and become metal. I was like, what become a metal? I don't want to become religious. I don't want to have a religion. But he said, no, 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 it's not a religion. It's a music style all about loyalty and friendship and brotherhoods. And I was like, Oh, that actually does sound very, very nice. But the more I listened to the music, the more something grew in me. Indeed, the loyalty and friendship that I felt for a lot of people became stronger as I shared my experiences, my music version, my vision of that music with them. And they were like, oh yeah, that actually sounds good. And oh, I, lo I like the music too. And it, But I only know a couple of bands. And how I grow like that was I 
got the chance to get some more albums and learn to get a lot of new bands and it opened a whole lot of doors for me as of going to concerts because I remember one of my first concerts was called Tattoo the Planet which had Biohazard and Hate Breed just starting up then it was one of my first festivals and when I was there everybody was so nice together except for the mosh pit but I didn't dare to go into those things because I didn't know how it was called back then but it was just awesome so after a little while I was listening to the music and the voice came back to me again he was like what are you doing I was like I am enjoying the music you need to do more like no, I don't think I need to do more. You need to spread the music and let the people know about metal. So, but I like I said, I don't like to be to be a religion. It's not a religion. It is a it is a thing that I like to listen to, and actually I love to listen to. The voice said, "Now your job is not over yet. You need to spread your word in any way you can. You enjoy the music." Tell your friends, tell people that you know that metal is not what they think it is. That there's more depth in it. And I'm like, yeah, yeah but I could give it a try. So a couple of years have passed, my CD collection grew. My friends grew together with me. And it became very clear to me what I needed to do. I wanted it to show people what a pretty kind of music metal is and how lyrically it is very, very, very deep. Not saying that all metal is deep, but a lot of metal is so deep if you just give it a listen. And that's also what I found out via that voice. That voice made open something in me, just like Dave Murray's first guitar solo I ever heard in Ace's Eyes. Ho! Oh, that was, I was like adrenaline pumping through my veins. But as I grew older, I at one point was like, I'm a little bit tired of this music. Is there not anything else? Because my music wasn't growing. It was basically Iron Maiden and from Iron Maiden I learned Ed Guy. And from Ed Guy I learned Aventation, then Halloween, and I was like, is that all the kind of metal there is? I've heard about other bands like Slayer and stuff like that, so I went to the local CD store and I came across a creator. And I was like, hmm, what is this? It looks pretty awesome, it's called Trash Metal. So I went to the desk and listened to the music and I was like, oh, what is this? This told me a whole new level of violence and aggression, yet I don't feel aggressive. It, it basically relieves my stress. I'm like, I like this. This is a new kind of style. As I took that home, there was a light shining but it was a very weird looking, ominous light. And I'm like, okay, what's this? With this light, I went home and that light I kept seeing as it was not in the air. It was basically in my eyesight. And I was like, why, What? what is this? But it was revealed to me when I fell asleep again. In that sleep, there was an old bearded person coming towards me with one eye and he said metal troll I'm like no no I don't care who you are but my name is not metal troll I call you metal troll that's going to be your metal name but why can't it be troll or something it, that that's that fits me more yeah but you are the troll of metal so so I'm still a troll yeah okay but never interrupt me again it's like I don't know and he told me the story about um, that my life 
would now change and some horrible things might happen to me but don't worry everything will be okay and as I know myself and some people that actually know me in real life my life wasn't that easy no I never became suicidal I don't cut myself but some bad things did happen and that made my put my foot down even more and relying on the music metal because that actually helped me through a lot of hard times and as that voice told me in that dream it's like just believe in what you listen to and take power out of the music and you will survive a lot as I had to do everything alone at one point and not really had that much help and then I, I woke up again and I was like yeah this is not for me being all sad and being all like uh, my life is not good my life is good and I don't care what anybody says they can say you're you're sad oh you're a hippie or oh, you're emo no well you can tell me whatever you want but I know what I am I'm a I'm a metalhead and nothing can change that and I bear the markings of metal too as I have metal tattoos but that's my vision on it well the story continues when I was around 15 and I started uh, started to get even more into metal and I told friends that listen to heavy metal that they should listen to another thing I took some CDs with me and showed them and hopefully they liked it and I tried to brought their uh, experience in metal like it did for me and yes this is starting to sound like a religious story but it's not there's no book they say there's a book of heavy metal but that's basically all the seeds that are made that's what you can call a book of heavy metal well I'm gonna stop the story now here because there is still quite a lot and I don't want to tell everything in one go because then it will be a way long video and probably you people won't even watch it because that's how it goes if there's no specific thing in there just a face telling a story you probably will not watch it but if you do watch it and you like it and you want to hear more just hit that subscribe button or the like button or just come back and watch the video when part two is up so from me here in this metal truck which I will show you later on in some of the videos I'm saying good night and sleep well and stay heavy